السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو خان بایو ایجوکیشن آئی ہوپ یو ول بی فائن اسٹوڈنٹس پبلک سروس کمیشن کی لیکچرل پریپریشن کے لیے جو ہم نے ایف ایس سی کا سلیبس ریوائز کر رہے تھے اس میں آج ہم چیپٹر نمبر ٹو بایولوجیکل مالیکیولس کو دیکھیں گے اسٹوڈنٹس سیکنڈ چیپٹر میں دس کیمیکل کمپوزیشن آف بیکٹیریل اینڈ میمیلین سیل از ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ ریپیٹڈ کوشچن ان دا پریویس ایگزامس it uh, must uh, be memorized by you and uh, the carbon is a tetravalent and it have covalent bond and the larger molecules are fats cellulose fats and proteins and the small molecules such as these are glucose amino acids fatty acid water and uh, in the medium of life these are smaller molecules and 20% of water in the human tissues is in the bone cells and 85% in the brain cells and heat capacity is defined as the number of calories required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water from 15 to 16 degree centigrade it means it, change, it just changes from 1 degree change in temperature is known as heat capacity and the heat vaporization of water is 574 kilo calories per gram per kilogram this is again a repeated question and the carbohydrates are polyhydroxy aldehyde and ketone molecules the general formula for the carbohydrate is c x h 2 o y and these are of three types the monosaccharides are sweet in taste and easily soluble in water the monosaccharides cannot be hydrolyzed into simpler sugar because these are the simplest form of sugar and these may be the pentose sugar or hexose this is a formula now this is the equation of photosynthesis this is again very important and aksar jo hai ye isko bhi repeat ho jati hai to isko bhi acche se memorize karna hai students the synthesis of 10 g of glucose required 717.6 kilo calories in solar energy it mean 1 gram glucose banane ke liye jo solar energy ek kisi bhi plant ko chahiye hoti hai this is 717.6 kilo calories and the oligosaccharides these are comparatively less sweet in taste as compared to the monosaccharide and these are less soluble in water and these are uh, having the covalent bond between the two monosaccharide and these form a glycosidic bond like here you can see there are two monosaccharide which on combine with the glycosidic bond they form a oligosaccharide you can see here hydroxyl group and hydrogen they form water water is evaporated and the new compound which is formed this having a glycosidic bond this bond is glycosidic bond again this bond is important in exams point of view students third third form of carbohydrate is polysaccharide which are the most complex and most abundant carbohydrates in nature for example starch starch is present in grains fruits seeds and tubers etc and the glycogen is also called animal starch this is the stored form of food in plants and the starch is the stored form in plants now acyl glycerol are composed of glycerol and fatty acid you can see here the formula like alcohol and acetic acid give an ester the alcohol is an a glycerol and acetic acid is a fatty acid when two combine they give esters and form the different fats like waxes which provide water barrier for insects birds and animals like in sheep terpenoids made up of simple repeating units of isoprenoids and give rise to rubber carotenoids steroids and terpenes etc now proteins students 170 types of amino acids are occurring in the cells and tissues and only 25 are the constituting of proteins and out of these 25 most of the uh, um, proteins are made up of 20 types of amino acids so, so don't mix with the 25 and 20 the 25 are the total proteins which are making by the 25 uh, uh, amino acid which produce proteins and the 20 are most important so don't be confused and this is the general formula for the amino acid students when two proteins or the two amino acids combine with each other they form peptide bond 
like you can see here glycine and alanine they combine and form peptide bond students f sanger was the scientist who gave the sequence of amino acids and in insulin he composed 51 amino acids which are present in the two uh, in two chains the one is alpha and the second is beta like uh, the first chain having 21 amino acids and the second one have 30 amino acids and they are linked with each other with the disulfide bridges in hemoglobin four chains are present two alpha and two beta the alpha uh, chains contain 141 amino acids and the beta contain 146 amino acids now the question is how many proteins in human body which are composed of unique and specific arrangements of 20 types of amino acids these are 10000 proteins students protein structure may be the primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure or quaternary structures these uh, these divisions are on the basis of their structure which is coiling and which is held together with the different bonds like hydrogen bond ionic bond and hydrophobic interactions the classification of proteins proteins may be fibrous proteins like in a straight in flat structure and may be the globular structure they can be coiled structures so in the fibrous they will uh, fibrous proteins are silk fibers myosin and fibrin and in the globular structure they are spherical or ellipsoidal in shape due to their multiple foldings examples of globular proteins are enzymes antibodies hormones and hemoglobins now nucleic acid nucleic acid may be the dna or rna and nucleic acid were first isolated in 1869 by f meister from the nuclei of the pus cell and you can see this is the structure of the nucleotide there are four kinds of nucleotides like adenosine guanine cytosine and thymine there are three scientists who gave the structure and different work on the dna like in 1951 erwin chargaff gave the ratio of different bases and the second one is morris wilkins and rose roseland franklin he gave the technique of x-ray diffraction to determine the structure of dna and he determined the structure of dna and james d watson and francis crick give the model of dna this is the model of dna you can see here now hemophilus influenzae is the first microbe to have genome completely sequenced and this was published on july 28 1995 now rna rna is synthesized from the dna that process is known as transcription and here the uracil replaces the thymine and there are the different types like messenger rna transfer rna and ribosomal rna and the messenger rna is about 3 to 4% of the total rna in the cell and transfer rna is comprises about 10 to 20% of the cellular rna and ribosomal rna it is the major portion of rna in the cell and may be up to 80% of the total rna students i hope aapke tamam important jo questions hain second chapter ke wo revise ho chuke honge aur aapki preparation bahut acche se ho chuki hogi aur hamare jo new viewers hain jo first time hamare channel pe aaye hain unse request hai ki channel ko subscribe kar le taaki aane wale chapters ka notification aapko sabse pehle mil sake aur iske ilawa jo aapki preparation hai aapki jo exam se related jo updates hain wo bhi aapko jo hai sabse pehle milti rahe thank you